what is array dot from it is a method that creates a shallow copy of an array okay so let me explain what i said first let's take a array and let's name it as arr and that is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 okay awesome now let me take one more variable i'm going to name it as array2 and that is equal to let's write array dot sorry array dot from okay yeah and guys this will take a parameter that is iterable object you can see here it's already showing creates an array from an iterable object now what is this iterable object anything that can be looped using for of loop or any other iteration method is considered as iterable object okay examples are arrays strings sets maps etc and examples of non iterable objects are numbers booleans null undefined because let's say numbers you cannot iterate through number right for example it is 42 you cannot iterate over 42 right so that's why it is an example of non iterable object okay so let's pass here array and let's print that one okay let me write here console dot log let's write here array 2 okay awesome now let's write oh you can see magic it already came here node from dot js so let me click on enter you can see guys we got 1 2 3 4 5 that is same as original array so let me also print original array so i'm gonna write here console dot log let's write arr okay awesome now let's run this one you see we got both arrays now i want to make some changes to my copied array that means to my second array so i will write here let's say arr2 arr2 of first element that means zeroth index so i'm gonna change it to srikant so let me write here srikant yeah awesome now let's print that again yeah you see guys when i did that only my second array got changed the original array remains same okay it's not affecting so what i want to tell is that this is an actual copy guys that means whatever the modifications that you do for array 2 will not impact the original array okay that is why i am saying it as actual copy okay now let's add an object in this so i'm gonna add here an object and let's give a property called age okay and let's write it as 25 okay and let's put comma here yeah awesome now let's print this one you see guys we got two arrays and our original array is having object which we which we added and our copied array is having Srikanth which we modified here so let me comment this for now okay and let me run this again now we got object in both arrays okay now what if i try to modify the object in my copied array okay the object in my copied array i will modify it so let me write here array 2 dot zeroth index right zeroth index and the property name is h and i'm gonna change it to triple nine okay triple nine and let us see what happens to both arrays so let me print this one yeah you see guys triple nine came on my copied array on my original array that means when i try to change the property name of my copied array it affected my original array as well so guys this is what shallow copy means so guys it is simple if array contains primitive data types actual values will be copied okay but if array contains any object then reference will be copied that means this both objects in array are pointing to same memory location that is why when you are trying to change the property from your array to it's automatically getting impacted in the original array because they both will point to same memory location okay now let me give you now let me show you one more example i will type here array 2 of let's say first index i'm going to name it as satali this time okay satali now you see i'll print node from.js you see only my copied array got affected why because i'm messing with primitive value primitive values are copied by value okay so here this age property this concept is shallow copy this concept is shallow copy right and this is actual copy we can name it as actual copy okay yeah i hope you guys got the clarity now let's look at one more example let me create a string this time so let me write let str equal to let's say hello i'll write hello and we can write let and we can write let array 3 equal to let's say let's write array dot from and let's pass here str and let's come here and let's write console dot log let's write here array 3 okay awesome now let's print that one you see we got an array with all the characters so like this we can also use array dot from method on strings as well okay now there is one thing guys let's let me take a separate array i'm gonna name it as array final and let's write here 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 what i want to do is that 
when i am making the copy of this array i want to transform the elements that means i want to perform some operation and then i want to copy them okay so for that let's create a variable so let me name it as m a r r okay and that is equal to array dot from and here array dot from okay and here first let's pass our array which is af and then it will take one more parameter guys that is mapping function that means it is just a function but we usually call it as mapping function okay so let me put a comma here and let's take a function here so i'm going to write a function and this function can be named function or anonymous function okay so let me open square brackets let me take a parameter here so i'm going to name it as a okay and let me open curly brackets and here let's write return a into 2 okay so let me print console dot log okay now let's come here and let's write from dot js oh what we got arr by is not defined oh sorry guys let me correct this one sorry my bad yeah let me run it again yeah you see guys we got 2468 you see this is the transformation i meant so we are taking 1 2 3 4 elements and we are taking the copy of that but along with that we are transforming them we are multiplying each array element with two so this function will execute on every element of this array and whatever this function will return those values will be printed in this marr okay so this is about mapping function guys and we can make it more simpler by replacing this function with arrow function so let me remove this function and let me write here fat arrow and we have only one line and that is writing something and we have only one parameter we don't need to put this parentheses also so let me remove this one and let me remove this one as well okay so let me change it to back to here and let me put one parentheses here closing one yeah awesome and we don't need to put return statement guys so let me remove this one now it looks much simpler right so let me run this again yeah you see we got 2 4 6 8 likewise you can use the mapping function and you can do whatever the transformations that you want while you are copying the array Okay so this is all about from guys yeah now i have one task for you guys so let me create an object here so let me write object and that is equal to let's write a and we have property 1 and then we have b and then we have value 2 okay now i want you guys to use this object and try to make a copy of this object using array dot from and put your code in the comments i'll see that okay and don't forget to subscribe guys i'll see you in the next video thank you